Welcome. My name is Lazaro Diaz, and this is your first step into the world of IP. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we'll take it through the basics, to the very, very beginning, even though you may already know, but just want to assume anything, we just start from ground zero. So, in that case, what is an IP address? An IP address is an address that is assigned to any internet networking device or any end device that has a NIC card. It identifies that particular device. It's a unique address. No two devices can have the same address or there will be something called an IP conflict. So IP addresses are used in order for us to network back and forth. In order to be able to share information, we need IP addresses in order to get from one place to the other, in order to network. If not, we go back to the old types of networking that was called sneaker net, right? If you want to send something to HR and you're on the 12th floor and HR is on the first floor, you're going to be taking the elevator or the stairs to go down. We don't do that anymore, right? We build networks, whether it be just with switches or switches and routers. We're sending things across the world. Well, we need IPs for that, all right? If you don't assign IPs to computers or switches or networks or anything of that nature, you're going to have issues either getting to that particular device or even trying to find your way around. Okay, so an IP address, again, to make it simple, is an address that's uniquely assigned to a device, all right? That's, hey, you are this particular address. But the IP address also along with it has something called a subnet mask. And the subnet mask is the one that determines what network you're in and who are you on that network. So let's take a look because I'm going to show you how they're formatted, okay? So let's use brown here. An IP address is four different octets separated by a decimal. And this, let me erase this down here because now I'm going to tell you where do we assign them, okay? But this is how they're formatted. You have four different octets. This being the first octet, this being the second, let me make it a little bit bigger because I don't want to confuse you. I want you to make sure you see everything clearly and correctly. So let's make it nice and big. So this would be the first octet. This is the second octet, third and fourth. And what do we mean by octet? That each one of these octets are eight bits. Because eight bits creates what? One byte, correct? So we have a combination of ones and zeros because let's take for example, an IP address that we're very familiar with, 192.168.1.1, all right? This would be the first octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. But if you were to turn this into binary and we'll use the first octet as an example, Okay, the first octet really will look like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bits creates this byte because we have the 128 and the um, 64 bit values. All right, and you would see that. Now, if you guys, I don't know if you guys saw the free hexadecimal video and we looked at the bit values and we'll look at them again here but these are the two bit values that you would be adding all right to get that 192 so really this is here these are your eight bits that's why it's called an octet because there's eight bits so this is how an IP address is formatted right four different octets separated by a decimal and first second third and fourth now IP addresses again are assigned to whatever. You can assign an IP address to a PC. You can assign an IP address to a switch. Okay? You can assign a IP address to routers. Okay? You can assign multiple IP addresses to PCs. You can assign multiple IP addresses to switches depending on the type of switch you have. And the same thing goes for routers. Because routers you can put them on the interface or you can do sub interfaces if you're creating VLANs or you're doing frame relay, all right? So this is where we will be assigning and we will be doing labs later on, actually assigning IP addresses on routers, not switches, 
but routers and the PCs. We'll go into that. But this is what an IP address is. You need to, you need to know what they look like, how to identify what type of IP address it is, and how is it being used, okay? So that's it for this particular lesson. All this is is to show you what an IP address is, how they were formatted, meaning four octets separated by a decimal, that the address is 32 bits long, right? 32 bits because you have four octets. Each octet is eight bits long. Four times eight is 32, so it's a 32-bit address, which gives you roughly 4.2 billion addresses. All right, so again, this is just trying to get you to understand what an IP address is. All right, it's a 32-bit address that we assign to devices on the network, so they are unique addresses, unique addresses to each device, so we can access those devices throughout our network. All right, so this will be the end for lecture one, and then when we go to the next lesson, we'll start getting deeper into IP addressing. Thank you.